Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the Bitcoin family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tayutu and yes, I am the guy that with his family four years ago sold literally everything he owned, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal, a cloudy day, the sun is coming through a little bit, hopefully it won't start to rain during these recordings of this video. In today's video, of course, bombing you with really cool Bitcoin charts, also taking a look at some other coins, and yes, talking about the news that I read this morning during my delicious cup of coffee at home. Make sure you watch the complete video because there's some really cool Bitcoin information and some really cool news that I read already this morning. It is a spectacular video! <laughs> Enjoy today's video, guys. Bam! It is a virgin beach, like they call it. No footsteps yet, that's beautiful. Strange colors because the sun is behind the clouds a little bit. Yes, beautiful Portugal. I will try to keep this video today a little bit short because at one o'clock I have an interview with a YouTuber from the Netherlands together with Madalon Vos and I think JJ. So yes, that will take some time today. And in the evening, again, an interview with Dutch television. I think some kind of new program. I don't know the name anymore. But I'll post the links to those two interviews very soon. Trying to keep it short. Very difficult for me. Let's first start with the Bitcoin TA part, the part where I bomb you with really cool charts. This one, bam! The first chart, guys, is a Bitcoin one hour chart. Check this chart. Like you can see, we are still moving inside this huge flag. And yes, the resistance is around 33,500 US dollars. The support is around 30,000 US dollars. This is this horizontal green line and the resistance is this downtrend green line. So we need to break the level of 33,500 US dollars to go to the top line. This line is around 35,000 US dollars. So if we break 33,500, we will continue the uptrend to 35,000 US dollars and then it gets exciting. Are we going to break that line and take it all the way up back to 40K? Or will we again be rejected by this line and take it all the way down again back to the support around 30k? This is the way Bitcoin is moving at the moment. Exciting times because we are coming to the monthly close at the end of this week. But we will talk about that a little bit later in the video. Alright later, let's talk about it now. Let's take a look at this monthly chart to show you what I mean. This chart. Bam! On this chart you can see that next Sunday we are going to close this monthly candle. And I prefer to zoom out on the charts. If you look at this chart, at the moment this monthly candle, it's looking as a healthy bullish green candle. But it can change really quickly. Because if you would close this month's candle around 29,000, between 29 and 29,300 US dollar, we are creating a gravestone doji. And a gravestone doji is a signal of a reversal into the market. Read the text that I wrote on this chart. Gravestone Doji has a huge upper wick, a very flat, small, tiny body, and a small lower wick. This is a Gravestone Doji. When we see these kinds of Doji on a monthly chart, that means in the monthly time frame we're going to see a reversal, which could mean that we could go down to 25k or even 20k in the next month and then stay around that level another month before again we go up. Gravestone dojis are mostly an indication of a reversal in the market. So please be aware that next Sunday is a very important moment to see the closing of that month. If we will close around 33,500 or 35,000 US dollar then there is no gravestone doji so then I don't expect a reversal in this large time frame. So that's really important. Watch this Sunday's close of the monthly candle. But I will, of course, be there then with you. Maybe I will even go live during the monthly close so I can help you to zoom out and not freak out. Bam! Also nice to tell you guys today is that the family token reached a new all-time high. Let's take a look at the family chart. This one, bam! We reached a new all-time high of 
0.337 dollar cents almost 0.34 dollar cents which would be 34 dollar cents which would be an all-time high for the family token yes of course it is also to do with ethereum going up like a crazy thing at the moment and probably ethereum will double very soon i don't know what kind of influence it would have on the family token but if we keep building this strong brand and more and more people are becoming part of this huge bitcoin family on discord almost 2500 members now they will start to buy some family tokens because they want to have the advantages of owning the family token because you get some extra advantages on discord you can buy some stuff with it i incentivize you with family tokens and way much more things in the future so more and more people will see the need of holding family tokens because they will understand that because of hodling family tokens we are starting up projects that will help people all over the world which again will create more demand for the family token and that will again create stability for the family token and maybe maybe even an increase an increase in the price but i can't talk about that of course because i am not a financial advisor i'm just a guy with a really cool blood bitcoin hoodie that you can buy in a store walking on the beach in lagos bam by the way, also for the month of February, you can again provide liquidity for the family token. And if you provide liquidity for the family token at the end of that month, February, you will share in the reward pot of again, 40,000 family tokens. 40,000 family tokens at the moment is more than 12,000 US dollar. So yes, make sure you hold all some family and the equal amount of Ethereum in a wallet by providing liquidity. And if you do this at the end of that month, you will share in the reward pot of 40,000 family tokens, whatever value it might have at that moment. Be aware, now it's 12,000 US dollar for 40,000 family tokens. Maybe at that point it's less, or maybe it is even more, but that is what you get when you just huddle your family tokens. Bam! Talking about the family token and Ethereum, guys, let's compare Ethereum to Bitcoin now. Let's take a really cool chart and check how Bitcoin and Ethereum are performing if you compare them with each other. This chart will show you exactly Bam! You can see, during the end 2020, it was mostly Bitcoin outperforming Ethereum. Now, in 2021, the first month, Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin. Because Ethereum had an 80% run in January already, and Bitcoin only a 20% run. Because, of course, Bitcoin did the biggest part of the run in 2020. The question now is, is Ethereum going to continue to outperform Bitcoin this year? And the answer to this question is not easy. Because yes, I do think Bitcoin already broke an all-time high and doubled from that all-time high. So we broke 20k and made it 40k out of it. Ethereum just today broke its really all-time high. We created a new all-time high, I think around 1480 US dollar. And we still need to double if we would copy Bitcoin. So then Ethereum would end up at 2800 US dollar instead of the 1400 US dollar that it is now. So yes, I think Ethereum can outperform Bitcoin this month, maybe even next month, maybe even the month after. But then when this huge acceleration in Bitcoin starts again, like we saw in 2017, this huge climb to the new all-time high in Bitcoin, huge peak, then I think Bitcoin will again be outperforming Ethereum. And that is how you trade between them. The moment Bitcoin gets stable and goes sideways, is when you get into ethereum and take the ethereum run the moment bitcoin starts to run again you exchange your ethereum for bitcoins and you take the bitcoin run and then when bitcoin again goes sideways you go back into ethereum and take the bit ethereum run you can do the same of course with litecoin because litecoin is also still not even breaking the previous all-time high so let's stand double the all-time high at the moment institutions are investing big time in bitcoin and ethereum so that is why Ethereum is already running harder than Litecoin, in my opinion. And it is all up to Litecoin community and the people to make sure that the institutions will also see Litecoin as a valid asset to invest in for the long term. BAM! That was such a beautiful BAM. Let's take a look at the BAM charts. This one. BAM! On this BAM chart, you can see that we traded Bitcoin on Bybit. Please use our referral link to sign up to Bybit. At the moment, Bybit has a $600 reward possibility for signing up to Bybit using our referral link. So if you click the link down below the video, the Bybit link, 
you can get up to a $600 deposit bonus reward for just signing up to Bybit now. If you did sign up to Bybit already earlier using our link, you can still claim that reward possibility of $600. US So make sure you check the reward page in Bybit. On top, there is a menu, there's a reward page. Click it and see if you can claim the $600 or $500 or whatever amount there is claimable for you guys. Make sure you do this. Don't throw away free money. If you take a look at this chart, I traded with a leverage of 10. And yes, we traded with $300. I had a lazy day and also again, a busy day on Sunday, you know, doing the walk and talk on the beach and everything and everything else. I still was able to trade two trades. Around 12 o'clock when I came back from the beach walk and talk, I did a short. This short was a 30% profit because we were stopped out by a trading stop loss because I took a trading stop loss of around 250 US dollar. So we were stopped out and we only had a 30% profit. We could have a bigger profit, but sometimes on these lazy days, I just set the trading stop loss and I just am happy with the profit I think. It was 30% converting $300 into 385 US dollar. We were just starting to watch a movie and all the alarms starting to bing, 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 bing. My wife was like, Didi, what is happening? What is happening? Is Bitcoin crashing? <laughs> I said, no, that's my alarm. So is that a trade? So I went to the screen. I saw that I could do another trade. It was a long. The Didi Bam Bam indicator was indicating that we would go long because the blue line was crossing the white line. There was a flag on the screen and it was even a candle close above the yellow stepping line. This was a triple confirmation. We would need to take that long. So I took that long. When I went to bed, I put in a trading stop loss again of 250 US dollar because I was in profit. The Bitcoin price peaked, it dropped when it went sideways a little bit in this red area. And that was exactly when I was stopped out. So it was only 33% profit, which converted this amount into 512 US dollar. We started with $300, we ended up with 512 US dollar. So that's still a $212 profit on a beautiful Sunday without spending too much time to the screen. Because you can depend on the Bam Bam indicator to give you signals when to attend the charts. You see a signal, you go to the charts, you see a flag, you see a triple confirmation, then you go long or short. That's all. When you get the next signal of getting out of the market, then you get out of the market. You go again to the screen, you check it. Why is this thing bing, 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 binging? And then you get out of the market. That's very simple. It sounds simple. It is, of course, not that simple. You need to educate yourself. I think it's very wise that the newcomers start to paper trade first. Do practice all these trades. And with paper trading, you do not need to wait for a new trade to pop up. You can even paper trade on history. Look back on the charts, take a moment there where you see a short, paper trade that short, and then see how it works out and see the result that you could have made with that paper trading. You don't need to wait for a new trade, just practice. It's the same like playing football. You need to practice a lot of times before you go onto that pitch. Same with trading. Practice it, practice it, practice it till you get very confident to try and play the real trading game. And then you start to trade. And like I said yesterday's video, I will soon show you a step in between where you can start to spot trade first because we are launching a new indicator and that indicator will help you to spot trade. So then we can go from paper trading to spot trading and then we end up at leverage trading. And if you don't want to trade manually, you just use the BFET to auto trade the signals the BFET will take from the BAM BAM indicator combination. BAM! That were all the charts for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed these charts. Let's now jump into the news part. The part where I'll talk to you about the news that I read this morning early during my delicious cup of coffee with a view of the sea. Bam! I will turn around, guys. I will walk that way. Let's see if the DJI can handle this. Yes, the DJI can handle this because I'm walking back home now. The first news I read this morning, of course, was about Ethereum breaking its previous all-time high. New all-time high in Ethereum of 1,483 US dollar. Congratulations to Ethereum to now officially creating a real new all-time high. Last week, we already tried to create it and we did succeed with one or two dollar, but that was not really like all-time high. Now, 
we have a way better all time high of 1483 us dollar and again the question is now is ethereum going to double just like bitcoin did after breaking the all time high if this is the story then investing in ethereum would now be a very good moment because then we would double from this moment 1400 to 2800 before we fall back again you know to 2k or something the same move that bitcoin did after breaking the previous all time high of 20k so yes I am adding some more Ethereum again to my portfolio now as long Bitcoin is going sideways like it is doing at the moment moving in that flag. Ethereum was not the only one creating a new ultimate high. There was another currency creating a new ultimate high. Aave. Aave created an ultimate high of 288 US dollar. This is a huge number for Aave. Aave is of course a project that is known for flash loans and staking. If you don't know what it is, please do your own research before you invest in Aave. Flash loans means you can get these small micro flash loans for a short term and pay them back. And staking means, of course, you huddle your Aave in a wallet and then you get rewards, just like huddling the family token in a wallet and getting rewards. So that is why Aave is growing tremendously. No, I'm not comparing Aave to family. Aave is 10 times, 20 times, 100 times, 1 million times bigger than the family token. But they became big because of the staking and the flash loan protocols that are built into Aave. And of course more and more alts are exploding but I want to keep this video short so I will keep it only to Aave at the moment. Bam! The next news that I read was also very important news because you all know the World Economic Forum. This is always taking place in Davos in Switzerland. I have been invited many times to this one. I have never attended it because I just don't feel at home with my uh, flip-flops. <laughs> and my shorts and my Bitcoin hoodie probably I will be a strange person walking around over there they will probably see me as like that's a crazy Bitcoin dude which I of course am but you know in these circles people ah, like to mingle with suits I am not the suits kind of guy if I would be invited to speak over there yes I would go but not just to attend over there and to drink fancy whiskey and cocktails and champagne with all those people that are now determining what the next step will be for humanity when it comes to economics. Now this time the most important thing is that we can see something on the agenda for the World Economic Forum and that's called cryptocurrency. The session on the World Economic Forum is called resetting digital currencies. Whatever that might mean. Do they mean you know the currency we already have or see as fiat is already digital but we are going to see a reset now because of the use of the central banks digital currencies and cryptocurrencies or do they mean no we want to reset the whole bitcoin evolution and take the power back to the central banks by only allowing central banks digital currency we don't know but we will soon find out because at the world economic forum they will be speaking about cryptocurrency and in my opinion it will always turn out positive because i do believe that Bitcoin will be seen as the 21st century of gold that you can start to use as well as peer-to-peer -peer cash. And yes, all the other cryptocurrencies that already exist as long, almost as long as Bitcoin, like Litecoin, like Ethereum, like Monero, Dash, and all these currencies will locally be used also as peer-to-peer -peer cash. So I don't think at the World Economic Forum there will be a negative ring to Bitcoin. If there will be negative news coming out of this World Economic Forum, then I think they are only creating thought to buy Bitcoin cheaper. Because they want to drop the Bitcoin price then, buy it cheaper, maybe as cheap as Michael Saylor did for MicroStrategy, and then start to push it and create mass adoption all over the world. So that is my opinion about what they are going to talk about on the World Economic Forum. Bam! And then there is another news article I read this morning and that was about this Friday because the 29th of January, so it's like this Friday, we will see $4 billion worth of Bitcoin option expire. Mostly there's a lot of FUD created around this option that will expire. $4 billion worth of dollar that can crash the Bitcoin price. It can, but it won't in my opinion. Because if you analyze the numbers, it looks kind of more bullish than bearish at the moment. But if you dig in deeper, you need to be admitting that both parties don't have any reason to create volatility before the expiry of these options. So I don't think it will have a huge influence on the charts, not the option part. It can be something else, but I don't think this $4 billion worth of options 
expiring next Friday will have a huge influence on the price this Friday. But who am I? Again, just a blue hoodie wearing dude on the beach in Lagos, Portugal that is very happy because Bitcoin is still above 33,000 US dollar. And that is an amazing level that we could have even not dreamed of a couple of months ago. BAM! That was all the news for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. I want to thank you for watching today and always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in that life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye!